The islands around Antarctica have started rearing up out of the water, and scientists are listening to what they have to say. I'm Dan Riskin. As you might have heard, the glaciers of Antarctica are melting. They're melting fast. One explanation for this, the one that pretty much everyone is on board with, is that they're in a runaway melt scenario and have little hope of growing back to their former glory. But researchers wanted to check and see if maybe, in the past, that had happened. They wanted to know if these glaciers had ever gotten as small as they are today and then grown back. But to do that, they needed to somehow see how big the glaciers once were. And that's hard to do. How do you find evidence of ice thousands of years after it melts into the ocean? Well, researchers did it, and they did it using a really neat trick. See, glaciers are heavy, so when they sit on the Earth's crust, they push the whole thing down, and that means the continent of Antarctica, but also the islands nearby. All of them get pushed down underwater. But as glaciers melt, they get lighter, so those islands rise up out of the water, lifted by the crust of the Earth below them. Scientists mapped out an island called Lindsay 1, about 100 kilometers from Antarctica's glaciers, and used isotopes in ancient shells and penguin bones to figure out which parts of the island were underwater or out of the water at different times in the past. That let them figure out how much weight was pushing down on the Earth at different times, and that let them estimate how much glacier cover there was in the past. In the end, the researchers were unable to disprove their worst fears. They found no evidence of any time in the last 5,500 years that the glaciers have been as small as they are today. And they also found that in the past, the island was coming up out of the water at a rate of about three and a half millimeters every year. Today, thanks to human-caused climate change, it's shooting out of the water about 10 times that fast. Just one more reflection of how profoundly our planet is changing right before our eyes. For ctvnews.ca, I'm Dan Riskin.